Hi friends, today we'll be solving a problem from Maths Standard 7th. So the problem is draw right angled triangle and then draw perpendicular bisector of its three sides. Okay, and then we need to find where the point of concurrence lies. Okay, so here there are total three steps. First step is draw right angled triangle. Second step is we need to draw perpendicular bisector of the three sides of the triangle and then the perpendicular bisector where it meets that is the point of concurrence we need to tell that where it is lying okay so let us start so first we need to make a triangle that is right angle triangle so this angle will be 90 degrees join this so this is a right angle triangle we will name it x y and z so now we need to make perpendicular bisector of the three sides. So first we will start with y, z. I will keep the compass at y and the measurement more than half. That is the like for y, z this is the half. So we have to take dimension more than half or we can say a bigger dimension and do the marking. Okay. And then we have to move the compass at z. Okay. And with the same measurement, we need to do the cutting, marking and then join this. Okay. So, this is the perpendicular bisector for Y, Z. Similarly, we have to make perpendicular bisector of X, Y. So, we need to keep the compass here at X and take the dimension more than half that is X, Y is the total dimension so we have to take dimension which is more than half of it or we can say a bigger dimension and do the marking and then we need to move the compass at y and with the same dimension do the marking okay so now this is the perpendicular bisector of x y now similarly for x z we need to draw perpendicular bisector so we need to keep the compass at z and dimension which is like more than half of x z or a bigger dimension we need to do the marking and now move the compass at x and with the same measurement do the marking now when you join what you see that the perpendicular bisector of all the three sides is passing through a common point we will name it as m this is the point of concurrence and what we can see that m is lying on the hypotenuse because this is a right angle triangle and x z is the hypotenuse so our point of concurrence is lying on the hypotenuse and if you can see like this is also the perpendicular bisector so m is actually the midpoint of x z okay so what we can see two things we can see about point of concurrence first point that it is lying on the hypotenuse and second it is the midpoint of the hypotenuse okay so this was the problem hope you understood and liked the video please like comment share and subscribe we'll meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye